do you need to migrate data across SharePoint sites? Learn what features are offered by SharePoint Online to move data across its structure. If you are working with SharePoint Online, sooner or later it will become your native space where most of your data is hosted. Remember that also if you're using Microsoft Teams to host the data, all files in the files tab are saved in the SharePoint site, which is created in the background. Finally, you will recognize that most of the documents you're hosting in Office 365 are saved in the document libraries on the SharePoint Online. And sooner or later, you will need to move that data around because your organization will change, maybe somebody will move to different department, and processes will go with that person. In this video, I will show you how to move, migrate the data across SharePoint sites using native SharePoint features. If you will like this video, please slap the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thankfully, Microsoft prepared very good solution that offers the possibility to migrate the data across SharePoint online sites without any additional third parties that you will need to use. If you will select any data across your SharePoint's document library, like files itself or folder, you will get access to the new additional options move to and copy to. First option allows you to cut the data from the source location and paste it in the target one. In case of copy to, you will just create the copy in the target location. What is important to remember, there are some limitations but not something that will harm you a lot. When you're doing the migration, there cannot be more than 100 gigabytes of the data, no more than 30 thousands of files and the biggest file cannot exceed 15 gigabytes of the file size. Remember about these limitations, but at the same time you can multiply that operations many times and get rid of that limitations very easily. If you will select copy to or move to option in SharePoint Online, you will get the possibility to select the SharePoint site where you want to copy the data you can also see all SharePoint sites that are listed in here, also the SharePoint sites behind Microsoft Teams. This is super useful because you can also use that solution to move data across or copy data across Microsoft Teams Teams. What you need to do when you will select SharePoint site, select the document library, which is available there and select the folder or create the new one. When you will create the folder, you can select it and copy data directly in here. It easy like this option. You can see the process of copying the data started in the moment you get the information that all data is copied to the target location. And if you will select it, you can see that all that data is already here. Moreover, in this example, we copy just few documents, few folders, but you can do the same thing across all SharePoint sites with huge volume of the data. If you need to move the data across folders in the one location, you can use exactly the same features. This is perfect solution if you need to migrate data across Microsoft 365, especially SharePoint Online and Microsoft Teams there.